This animation demonstrates fluid filtration across the porous capillary wall, which is governed by Starling's law. Starling's law states that the fluid movement across the capillary wall equals the filtration constant of the membrane multiplied by the difference between the hydrostatic pressure of the capillary and that of the interstitium minus the product of the reflection coefficient and the difference of the oncotic pressure in the capillary and that of the interstitium. In this figure, the hydrostatic pressure in the capillaries is represented by this diagonal line, which ranges from 32 millimeters of mercury at the arterial end to 15 millimeters of mercury at the venous end. The oncotic pressure of the blood, represented by the dashed line, is constant at about 25 millimeters of mercury. In this example, the interstitium surrounding the capillaries, represented by the color yellow, has a hydrostatic pressure and an oncotic pressure of around zero. The interaction of these pressures results in transmembrane flow, represented both in magnitude and direction by these arrows. On the arterial end, transmembrane flow is towards the interstitium, resulting in filtration. On the venous end, transmembrane flow is towards the capillary, resulting in absorption. Large molecules, such as proteins, are too large to be absorbed through the capillary membrane. These molecules, along with water and solutes, return to the circulation via the lymphatic system.